might not know that 300,000 Americans die each year of heart failure. That's more than all cancers combined. In this month's Prescription Arkansas Report, Ann Jansen tells us about a device that's giving new hope to some heart patients. How are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. This is wonderful. Marie Tidwell says she feels like a new woman. This time last year, she was having trouble just getting through the day. I couldn't make my bed. I couldn't clean house. My husband had to do all that stuff. She went from an active life to sitting in a wheelchair. And my husband and my children decided that uh, I needed to come to Little Rock. So they brought me to Baptist Health, and uh, I seen Dr. Hutchins, which he's a godsend, you know. And uh, he, uh, he did started running tests on me, put me on a heart transplant list. Then Dr. Hutchins referred her to Dr. Shaka, who determined she was a good candidate for a biventricular ICD. So uh, the people that we pick for are what we call is moderate to severe congestive heart failure, meaning uh, they're okay at rest, uh, they don't have any symptoms, but once they start walking, uh, doing things, they uh, start feeling short of breath, walking to the mailbox and feeling short of breath, things like that. Dr. Shaka implanted the ICD during a two-hour procedure. It not only corrects an irregular heartbeat, making it beat in rhythm for patients with heart failure like Marie, it delivers a shock similar to a defibrillator device hospitals use. They took me in, of course, you know, they stopped my heart, and when they, they got the defibrillator in, my heart wouldn't start back. I died, and uh, so they shocked me, and uh, that, that didn't bring me back. And then all at once, God just touched me and started my heart to beating back. Marie did make it through surgery and felt the effects of the device almost immediately. So the symptoms would improve with time, but some people feel it right away. Some people uh, uh, feel better the next day. Some people feel better after a week or two weeks. And then uh, that the people about, uh, of all the people we do these procedures, about 70% of the people feel better. Marie is back to being herself and says she is following doctor's orders to live a healthy lifestyle. And I've been doing my best, you know, to take care of myself, to, like Dr. Chalkin and Dr. Hudson suggested. And um, I, I just feel, I just feel wonderful. I, I feel like I could run a race if somebody wanted to race me. You know, I just, I, I, it's amazing how well I feel. It's just, uh, it's just amazing. It's just a blessing. And Jansen, today's THV. Marie says she's especially happy about being able to get up and lead the singing at church again. And now for the Prescription Arkansas Survey. We asked 500 Arkansans if heart disease runs in their immediate family. 52% said yes, 43% no, 5% not certain.